Lisa Gifford, who's a former trader who fought with militia forces in Syria, and John Reese, the co-founder of the Stop the War Coalition. Macy, you go first. Do you think that this, this is a good bit of advice from, from our government and Ukraine's? Well, I wouldn't say it's a good bit of advice. I'd simply say that if British men and women, particularly those with experience, if they want to join the Ukrainian military and defend them, then they should absolutely be allowed to do that. Um, every year, British men join the French Foreign Legion. Um, uh, Jewish men, uh, British men will often join the Israeli Defence Forces as well. So this is a case of a sovereign state battling um, an aggressor that's trying to completely destroy their states. And uh, if British men wish to defend them, then I absolutely support it. What about that, John Rees? It's insane. It's absolutely insane to send untrained people into a war zone where they'll face a, a highly modern uh, army in terms of Russians, heavy artillery, tanks. What I want to know about Liz Truss is this. When these people come back maimed, is she going to visit them in the hospital wards? When they come back with post-traumatic stress disorder, is she going to take care of them? Is she asking her daughter to go and fight, as well as trying to encourage other people's sons and daughters to go and fight? This is absolutely reckless and irresponsible. But, if, John, if it's right, it doesn't... I mean, in a sense, the, the, the outcome for the individual may be tragic, but if it's right, you fight, surely. Well, there are one more, there's more than one way of uh, fighting, and certainly, um, if you wanted to go somewhere in Europe, there is an absolutely massive uh, anti-war movement uh, developing in Russia. Go and protest with them. There's going to be a demonstration by the peace movement in this country uh, next Sunday. Come and demonstrate with us. We want the Russians out. We want Ukraine to be independent. But we don't want this kind of ludicrous, chauvinistic, patriotic uh, grandstanding by ministers, which is uh, which they will not. They will not deliver on in the end of the day. They will not uh, actually do what they say and encourage other people to do. Mesa, we, let me, let me get to Mesa. Let me just make one, go point. On. Yep. Just make one point. One point. Yep. What, happen, what happens if one of these people goes and joins the Azov Battalion in uh, Ukraine, which is uh, a Nazi organization, has Nazi signature, uh, signature from the SS Panzer Division of the Second World War, and comes back here with those ideas. We've already had one MP who has been killed by a far-right extremist. What if these people are radicalised by the far-right in the Ukraine? In Ukraine? Well, I, I mean, that I can't check what you've said about that division. Mesa Gifford, what do you make of that? Well, I, I think it's pretty poor, actually, to sort of indicate that the Ukrainian military uh, has any dealings with the far right. At the end of the day, this is an entire country we're talking about. The Ukrainian people are sovereign. They've had a democratically elected government, which is now under attack. And they are calling on international support, uh, people who are um, who want to defend sort of the lives and the sort of uh, the future of Ukraine to come out. And remember, it's their decision. No one, this trust included, is responsible for a British man or woman who decides to go to Ukraine. But, it, but, but uh, they, they, well, you say that, but of course, governments give the lead. And she said she'd support people who go. She could have said, "I wouldn't recommend it," for example, because what you may do, Mace, is you may find a mum or dad somewhere you know, in, in somewhere in the country, suddenly finds their 16-year-old son's gone off and you, they find well, he's flown to Ukraine. Around. What? Which would be, uh, which would be absurd because I don't believe 16-year-old people are even allowed to join the Ukrainian military. I'm not too certain about that. But, <laughs> I would have thought in, the, in this um, war, I, anyone could probably join, can't they? But you, you, this could happen, couldn't it? You could have teenagers going. I'm, I'm and you'd, uh, you'd hope they would be sent home. home. Well, hang on, John. Hang on, John. Well, you'd hope that... Hang on, John. Uh, no 16-year-old went to Syria to fight against the Islamic State, so I can assure you I was there for three years. But in terms of people who want to go over and join the Ukrainian military, this, as we know, as we know is a sovereign state. Um, people are allowed to join the French right. Foreign Legion. I, there is absolutely no difference. John, there we are. I mean, U Ukraine is a friendly country and a sovereign state, and if you want to help them, why not? Because it's, it's because there are different ways of helping, and it's irresponsible to send untrained or to encourage untrained, unprepared people who probably don't even speak the language to go into a war zone. That is irresponsible. It is stupid would and it's you, irresponsible. Would you support Orwell's battle against the fascists in Spain? 
Do you think anything of the international volunteers, the brave men and women that sacrificed them against Franco's fascists? John? Is there no difference here? Uh, there, there is actually there is actually a difference here because the international brigades were properly organised and supported. What this trust is saying and is that's exactly just what go on doing. your own. Just go on I'm your own. I'm building I'm building a website, and it's not necessarily it is a little well, bit organised well, now, but it's only well, twenty four hours. I mean, congratulations on the website. But that mm -hmm. isn't really that isn't really what's required here. When you're just saying to individual people, go on, get on the train, get in your car, go across there, grab a weapon. That's not the message. You're exaggerating the message. So what, what, what is the message? Hang on, John. Hang on. What's the message, Mason? Liz, Liz, Liz Truss, in passing, mentions that she, I presume, from her moral perspective, she wasn't talking about the official government position or anything like that, that she would support people going to fight against the Russians on, on behalf of the Ukrainian military. As many other people have said to me, oh, I morally support you when you fought against ISIS. They were evil well, fascists well, killing people. Well, but well, let's you, not you say that, this point she, she was given the opportunity to clarify what she meant. She was asked to clarify on the BBC, and she didn't. So she didn't, so, whatever your argument She is, didn't get into that details. Is what Liz I, trust Mesa, so just, just let me ask here. you, sorry, let me ask you about this website. Are, is any, if I may say so, Tom, Dick or Harry able to get on your website and book a ticket to Ukraine? Or do you need at least experience firing a gun? Um, do you know what? So the, the state of affairs as of today is that I've shared links on my social media from the Ukrainian embassy, which allows people to register their interest in joining the Ukrainian military. And uh, as long as you're 18 and above, I believe you are then allowed to go to Ukraine and join the, the, the military. It's very unorganized and it's very um, much something that's 24, year, uh, 24 hours old. In terms of what I am attempting to do, I'm attempting only to recruit uh, former British service people. Uh, people who are um, interested in helping the Ukrainians, and I want to organize them much more efficiently to actually get there and actually support where it's needed. For example, RAF engineers in the military bases, servicing airplanes, drones, uh, tanks, that sort of thing. So this can be organized properly, but we need a little bit more time. And we can't just turn around and say, oh, the 16-year-olds are going to join. Oh, God, it's uh, it's a disaster. Only what, what will happen when we all come back maimed? No, this is about allowing British men and women who are sane, sober, moral people who wish to support the Ukrainians, allow them to do that and make sure they're organized, properly funded, and... Um, okay. Uh, and fight for the, the good fight. Thank you very much, Steve. Mason Gifford, former trader who fought with militia forces in Syria and now is putting together a website to help people get out to Ukraine to fight. John Reese, co-founder of Stop the War Coalition, who thinks it is madness for us to get involved.